KKY News. The mysterious disappearance of Bayview's money has left the mayor scrambling for solutions to the city's financial problems. In other news... And now, you'll notice there is nothing up my sleeve. Hey, there's nothing up mine either. Am I a magician too? No, go near the audience. I will now shuffle the cards. Yay! Oh, that's amazing! That's not the trick! The way those table legs just came out of nowhere. Huh? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh! Okay, I cover the deck with the scarf, and you'll notice that the card you were thinking of earlier is now in the mouth of this... Dove! Or it will be a dove when I get real good and I can afford one. You turned a dove into a potato? Ah, don't turn me into a potato! Ah. Oh, that's terrific, son! Isn't it, Bobby? Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Bobby. I really needed a hobby. It was either magic or tap dancing. I'm a little worried that if I get real good, people are going to think everything's hidden inside my wheelchair. Oh, no. They won't think that. Could you hurry up? I'm getting a little tired of tasting my knees back here. Oh, man. Those stupid power failures. The city council's doing all they can to save money during the city's financial problems. They're turning escalators off for 20 minutes out of every hour. The exercise bikes at senior care facilities are being hooked to power generators. Faster, people. I need to do my laundry. And to save wear and tear on brake linings, the buses aren't stopping. Financial crisis, financial crisis. A whole town's worth of money doesn't just vanish. That idiot mayor of ours probably stole it. Now, Graham Graham, Mayor Breadcup is suffering as much as we are. I've got my candles and my canned fruit. Bring on the darkness. What are you staring at, your four-legged flea buffet? One shot at their neck meat in the dark. That's all I ask. I'm gonna need a stage name. I was thinking either The Amazing Rampo or The Great Wheeldini. A good thing it was Bayview that ran out of money, because if it was like Las Vegas, that new age soft rock clarinet playing guy, he couldn't dry his hair. Oh no! City employees haven't been paid in a week. I'll let you go if you give me half that doggy treat. I can't wait to see how Mayor Breadcup is gonna fix this. <laughs> What an honor, being like chosen to design this year's floral garden. It's the last glimpse of beauty that hardened criminals see before they're dragged off kicking and screaming to jail. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't. Hey, nice floral display. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I see a hat. We have to choose a scene from Bayview's history. Heroes, elections, memorable moments. How about last year when Trish Furzel wore, like, bell-bottoms to the 80s dance? It didn't change the course of history, Sandra. It did for Trish. She was on the fashion no-no list for three weeks. Can I, like, eat these? <laughs> Hey! Hey! Where's the fancy appearance? You usually come out of a burrito covered in chicken meat or pop from a gun with bang written on your forehead. Yeah, cutbacks. You have cutbacks too? How about this? Peekaboo! How could the afterlife go broke? We had big plans for that money. Ah, uh, can I borrow a cup of electricity? 
How do you borrow a cup of electricity? Thanks. I'll pay you back. Um, could you uh close your eyes and pretend I'm disappearing on the back of a big golden horse? Thanks, man. Right this way, Mr. Mayor. We're doing everything we can at Alcatraz Junior High to save the city's money. We're turning off selected hallway lights. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. We're saving on pesticide by using cafeteria gravy to kill the roaches. And to save on the sports equipment budget, we only have one ping pong paddle. Actually, this really whiffs. Well done, but you won't need to conserve much longer. Not after the amazing Gumpo gets here. The the amazing Gumpo? I first saw his astounding psychic displays on a TV special. He pulled a piano out of nowhere. Still don't know how he did it, though. I saw that one. He chose a total stranger from the audience and found his missing wallet. Is it in your pocket? And it was in his pocket. Oh, oh, he did this thing with a coin. It was in one hand, then it was in the other hand. I hugged my kitty cat in bristle-neck fright. He told me for $10,000 he'd psychically locate our city's missing money. And then we could go back to wasting our natural resources like we always have. You hear that? What a joke. Gumpo isn't even a psychic. He's a third-rate magician. And as for the amazing leaping coin... Oh, great pills, Wikini. How may I serve your magical amazingness? There's no such thing as mystical powers. I spoke to your grandfather several times in 1962. But, Gram Gram, he was alive then? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Canning. In times of emergency, you need stuff in cans. Why? I have no idea. Daddy, if the power goes out tonight, my rock polisher won't work. And Bobby's talking ducky nightlight won't work. I'm here. No need to be afraid. Then I can plug in my electric denture decruster. I'm here. No need to be afraid. Well, you know what that means. I'll be able to sleep for a change? It means we should all go to the town meeting tomorrow to voice our concern. Where are the candles? I think I canned them. Did you get the candles? Not yet, but I found my slippers. Where's Pelswick? I'm up here. My battery's dead. How about this? The Battle of Walker Crescent, in which a dozen feisty student loyalists held off their landlord for 11 weeks with nothing but unwashed dishes for weapons. Ow! It's so like sapia. I'm going to have to give them yellow hats. You can't give them hats, Sandra! This is an historic image revered by modern-day advocates of rent control. How about Gainsborough's blue boy? Now he had a hat! Would you wear this in public? I am going to give my parents such a pinch. He didn't live here! Oh, and that's like my fault! I had a spare battery, but Kate hooked it up to her little Miss Diva performance in the round rotating stage. I can't believe they hire a bad magician to fix a financial crisis. These are adults, not kids. They aren't going to be fooled because some guy in a cape can pull the queen of diamonds from behind someone's ear. 
He pulled the Queen of Diamonds from behind my ear. Hooray! But you good people don't want to watch me reconstitute matter from thin air. Reconstitute matter? It was up his sleeve. Shh! You want me to find your city's missing money. Hooray! Hooray! This guy couldn't find a cop in a donut shop. You've written important questions for me and sealed them in these envelopes. Oh, he's not going to do the old one ahead. Mm. Yes, he is. Mm. Ooh. They're ooing humming. The answer is no, Morris. Don't invest till you're sure. Should I invest in Plum Futures? Signed. Morris, I'm Morris, and I'm a maid. I can't take this. It's a trick. Morris is a ringer working with this rabbit stuffer. He didn't have a question. The envelope Gump had just opened contained the second question, which he now already knows. He's not a psychic, Mr. Mayor. Don't give him the city's money. <laughs> Been getting a powerful emanation from this young man. Oh, oh, from Pelswick? What kind of emanation? I see him in an accident. <laughs> Were you? No, this thing's just an elaborate belt buckle.、Uh, tell us more, amazing、uh, Gumpo. Give it up, Morris. You're the ringer. I see Bayview's current financial problems strongly connected to this boy. Connected to Pelswick? You must place him in jail until he produces the missing money, or until I've been paid and left town. No, wait! What are you doing? Now I'll give you some winning lottery numbers, and use this dowsing rod to show you where to drill for gasoline. That's even better than oil. We can pump it right into the buses. Hooray for the amazing Gumpo! I'm sorry, sir. You'll need exact change to push the bus. Which is the best hat for gardening? This one says, "I am of the soil," but this one says, "Sheep." Since we can't agree on a picture from our tragically chapeau-like history, I picked this page at random. Here's your seeds. You start on this side. I'll start over there, and we'll meet in the middle. I can't believe my luck. I'm in jail for something I didn't do, and to make it worse, it's not a school night. You're not by any chance a fan of the amazing Gumpo, are you? Graham, Graham, I've got terrible news. <coughs> What are you doing? Gas and power are out. I figure if I dig down far enough, we can cook our meals on the heat from the Earth's core. <laughs> Pelswick's in jail. We need to get him the best lawyer in the country. Not currently defending the violent video game makers. Pelswick in jail? Oh, you don't need a lawyer. You need. Gnarly angels. The signal. Rissy needs me. Do I get one call? Not till the city pays the bill and they turn the phone back on. Huh. What's that? A pardon from the mayor? Nah, I've been laid off by the city. You too. Don't go. Who's gonna feed me? Well, this is just great. Stuck in a jail with no phone call and a dead battery. Mr. Jimmy, I could use a little help here. Who's Jimmy? Do the trick already. Kate? 
boy, I expected you to play some dumps on your way up, but this is pathetic. It's not a dump, it's a jail. You can fit through the bars. Go find the keys and get me out of here. First, write a note saying I'm a little kid who was misled into becoming your accomplice and said jailbreak. If it's signed when I get back, you get the key. Did you get your mail yet? Because mine hasn't come. Where were you? Watching the amazing Gumpo. He bent those spoons just by looking at them. It's a trick. He uses his belt buckle. I wish I had a trick like that. Just because I can't ooze out of a liquid soap dispenser or fly into the room like a bat, no one takes me seriously. People are so superficial. I sympathize, really. But right now, I need to get out of jail. I'd turn into a big sop, but that's a $24 trick. Gotta go. I have to push a bus to my next appointment. What's the mule for? Shot in a western. It was the 1800s. The prospector's crusty mule yanked the jail bars out to set them free. Woohoo! I'm free! Free, I tell you! Woohoo! Wait, was that a, a film or was I alive back then? Prissy, he's a skinny kid. We could bend those bars ourselves. We gotta bend him enough to get the chair out. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kate. Hey, where are you going? To get this notarized. You'd think City Hall would have a rep. <laughs> now, according to this map of the ductwork, it's 20 meters straight on, then uh, left to the elevator shaft. to water it, this will be beautiful. You were sure using a lot of red. Was the prospector sunburned? There was no prospector on page 35. We weren't doing page 35. We were doing page 37. If we did half of this picture and half of this one... <laughs> Guys, what are you doing here? Everything's turned off. It's the mall. It's where we go. Things are getting worse out there. And what are they doing to fix this mess? Listening to Gumbo. Mm. I see gasoline here. Yeah, it's a shame. Who are you, anyway? It's me, Pelswick. <gasps> you can't be Pelswick. He's in jail. No one's taking me seriously. People are so superficial. That's right. Pelswick's in jail and people are superficial. I will now erect a psychic force field around the town to win you the next Olympics. You think this will work? Either way, thanks to this signed document, I get off scot-free. Who are you? He's the even more amazing Wheel Dini! Isn't it that annoying Pelswick kid? It can't be. He's in jail. Actually, that's right. It can't be him. <laughs> I will first demonstrate my psychic powers by pouring a glass of water out of my beautiful assistant's ear. Ooh. Obviously, she just went swimming or something. In that case, she must have been swimming in the ocean. Oh. oh, we should space out in case our combined weight. Ah! Hey, what are you eating? That's city property. I believe the card you chose is in this. Potato! Ooh. 
<laughs> Those are just magic tricks! You're not gonna fall for this, are you? Tell us what to do, old Great Wheel Genie. My pleasure. I don't know why the city's broke, but I'm getting a strong vibration that says... This man is a charlatan and a fraud! In that case, that poor boy we arrested was innocent. Black white. These are good. But if Gumpo can't help us, how can we recover the city's money? It's right here! Thanks to Marley's Angels! That third one's quite the looker. It was between the couch cushions in the mayor's office. I knew there was some place I forgot to look. Everyone can be paid now. And everything's back to normal thanks to the mysterious Will Dini. We've seen this. Change the channel. As soon as we find the remote. I got what you were saying. You have to get people's attention before you try and tell them something. Nah, I was actually saying people are dopes who will believe anything as long as you're wearing a cape. But, hey, if it works for you... I found the very best lawyer in the country and... Oh, he's back. Uh, thanks anyway. Good morning, kid. They hired me back. Whoa, I was gone longer than I thought. <laughs>